morning, Ruby Lane. We are here live at the Las Vegas Antique Jewelry and Watch Show. And we are here with one of our fabulous shop owners, Alpha and Omega Jewelry from Manhattan, New York. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? We are very good. How are you? I'm doing very well. So are you having a great show? Yes, I do. It's very wonderful. Uh, we've been very, very busy. They've been very, very busy, but there are some things still left in their booth that we're going to get a good peek at this morning. So come on a little bit closer. And uh, Andrew and Stephanie are going to show us some of their wonderful top picks of the show. So if you're just tuning in, again, we're here with Shop Owners Alpha and Omega, and we have their link right here in the video so you can check out their shop. And Stephanie's going to take us through a couple of the top picks that she has. Stephanie, what are we looking at right here? Okay, uh, this one is uh, Austrian Opal and Art Deco time period and very beautiful and also the uh, more than four carat diamond on it around it it's a wonderful piece that is a fabulous piece that's a beautiful opal opals are hard to find yes especially opal is very hot uh, hard to get this time especially Aus austrian mine is like dried out so it's a lot of people looking for it, especially a color like this so they are like fire it's beautiful yeah so when you're looking for an opal what is what is uh the top things that you look for when, when you're choosing an opal because the opals you have are absolutely amazing. Thank you, Andrew. That's exactly what we needed. <laughs> so let's get our viewers a good look at that opal. Look at that fire. It's, first of all, it's a live is important. It's a dry color. And if you have a special patterns going through it, it's uh, you know very difficult to come up with, especially red color, green, all different mm -hmm. color match it up. That's the best ones. Absolutely stunning. And so, the, for the month of June, we have uh, pearls, and yes. so this is a wonderful set right here. This is Edwardian, so this is very early. Yes. Tell us about this. This piece is, a, it's a, you see the mark on it, and it's very old, over 100 years old, and it's very difficult to come with the perfect conditions with the box, mm -hmm. and especially this one comes with the earring and platinum setting with uh, lots of diamonds. If you see in the front highlight, this is very good for the wedding gift. So, oh, that would be a yeah, perfect wedding it's a gift. Beautiful wedding gift. Yeah. Some okay. So if can you even rent it sometimes, yeah. Oh, they can rent it from you. Yes. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Or if you would like to put it on your registry, you can uh, link it to your to the Ruby Lane shop. Okay. Look at this. And this is also a very pretty piece. Uh, this is actually uh, 18 karat gold and silver uh, Mario Buccellari piece. This is on, online on Ruby Lane shops, so you guys interested and take a look at it. And you can see here a little cameo, uh, cameo on it. A uh, wonderful piece, an old handmade early Mario Buccellari piece. Absolutely beautiful. Andrew, how long have you been working in the jewelry business? Um, well, the family, but we've been doing the family business for a long time, and uh, we really truly only started doing this maybe 10 years ago. I personally joined uh, last year, so we've been learning a lot, and there's a lot mm -hmm. to know. Um, every day you really truly learn something new, like uh, especially like these opals, these natural pearls, rose cuts, emerald cuts, etc. So. Well, you certainly know a lot. And <laughs> well, I have a good teacher right here. <laughs> yes, yes. So how long have you been uh, working in jewelry? Uh, totally 25 years, about antique and vintage jewelry, about, I can say about 10 years. Yes. And is antique and vintage jewelry your, your specialty? Is that what you do all of the time? Yes. And do you guys have a brick and mortar in New York? Uh, yes. Yeah, we're actually located on 47th Street, 66 West, Futurama Exchange, booth 14. I love it. Well, we want to do a little bit more virtual shopping with you guys. Uh, we see this beautiful Cartier ring that again has a pearl for the month of June, which is so perfect. Cartier is um, just one of those quintessential brands that everyone wants and loves. Tell us about this ring. Uh, this ring is a beautiful pearl, nine millimeters, which is uh, hard to get to. Uh, it's a pretty decent size, and you have uh, 18 carat mountains and about five carat diamond all around, and it's a beautiful setting. That is a beautiful setting. When you're looking for a pearl, what are uh, some of the things that you guys look for when you're selecting a pearl jewelry? Uh, size is important also, but also color and how smooth. Mm -hmm. between, you got to see the between silver and white, mix it up together, mm -hmm. and that's the best <coughs> color. Also, it's a good shining, is or not. Okay. Yeah, the luster yes. on that pearl is absolutely stunning. And is that the original box? Yes, it uh -huh. is. Yeah. Wonderful <laughs> to find it in the presentation like that. So if you guys are just tuning in, we're here live at the Las Vegas Jewelry and Watch Show. We are here with one of our amazing shop owners, Alpha and Omega Jewelry. They are from New York, and we are here doing a virtual tour of their booth. 
we uh, showed some pictures of their booth earlier and you guys got hundreds and actually thousands of views. One of the things people were absolutely obsessed with is the, where is that, where is that pearl necklace? Um, Oh, did you sell it? Yeah, sold it. Oh, you sold it. Oh, well, good for you. That choker. Yeah, we, ha we received a lot of comments on that one. People wanted us to see it up close. Here's some Chanel jewelry. So do you guys dabble a little bit in uh, high-end costume? Yes. We, oh, it's actually oh, 18 a, karat real gold. Oh, that is real gold? Yes. So Chanel does actually make real jewelry when it comes down to 18 karat. Okay. Um, so this is actually one of their pieces. Um, that is interesting to know yeah. because I, I I didn't know that. I thought that right. it was mostly costume, high end costume. They lately doing lots of the made up with the eighteen karat gold. Um, a lot of I've been mean, lately very popular, so that's uh, good to know. Yeah, Chanel does this, Gucci, really all the high end companies yeah. now. They've been making fashion jewelry out of actual gold and silver, platinum, yeah. using real gemstones as well. Cool. And you see the red uh, butchelari uh, makeup uh, case is really spot. I mean. Uh, beautiful <laughs> oh let's take a look at that yeah. that is absolutely stunning okay, so. now that is a makeup case that is adorned with diamonds yes <laughs> and, and is that set in white gold or platinum uh, it's a uh, yellow gold and oh yellow the, gold yes and enamel uh, red painting on it with the diamonds can we see the inside sure So now, is this something that a lady would have just used on the daily, or was it something that she would have used maybe just for a special occasion or as a gift? It's a special occasion with a gift. Some people can using it as uh, everyday cases. It's beautiful. It's in <laughs> such fabulous condition. Yes. And it's a uh, Mario Bucciolari only piece as well, the Mario only pieces. We got the sign here. Uh, okay, signatures here in these boxes. So if you guys are tuning in and you see something absolutely amazing that you have to have out of this booth that we are in of Alpha and Omega and you can call them through their Ruby Lane shop or you can email them and say, hey, that uh, pair of Tiffany star earrings up on the uh, left corner of the video, um, mm -hmm. how do I buy those? So, uh, Sure, yeah. Uh, okay. you, you can call us and you can check in our company name Alpha and Omega Ruby Lane in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. You guys are one of our top shops. We are featuring you in our newsletter, which is going out this Saturday. And you, uh, you've listed 14 new things this week and actually four things just this morning. So you're very, very, very active and we appreciate it very much. The, your quality is just outstanding. Thank you so much. Do we have any other, uh, oh, we wanted to see this Art Deco bracelet. That was so, that is so pretty. Gonna set it on this box. Let's get some light okay. here. Look at that. So Stephanie, what what draws you to the antique jewelry over uh, newly manufactured? Uh, antique has a lot more detail and also the beauty. And they only made one piece. It's not like a manufacturer has they made a hundred pieces. Exactly. So also all of them is a handmade and. You know, you can have art craftsman, you know, the person who made it, it has a really good soul on it, so. It really <laughs> does. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, would you say that if it's lasted 100 years, it'll probably last another 100 years? You know, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. You know, yeah. trends come and go. So, you know, a lot of these Art Deco pieces and all these older pieces, they're really getting a lot of attention again. Mm -hmm. um, and like she said, you know, a lot of these have character. They're handmade, they have a story behind them, so they're unique, unlike all these manufactured goods that are just mass-produced. Right. And there are other uh, jewelry things going on right now. And I have noticed uh, on the manufactured places, uh, uh, shows, that the, 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 the designers are drawing inspiration from antique. So they look exactly like this. So might as well just get the real thing, right? Exactly. <laughs> Can you show us a little, this Burma necklace right here. This is like the piece de resistance right here on this top shelf absolutely amazing now for our viewers can you explain a little bit about what burma no heat means a burma ruby there. so there it's go. essentially oops, turn this light on for you guys I'm glad you have that <laughs> so a burma ruby is essentially a ruby that originates from burma now rubies undergo certain kinds of treatments to Thank enhance you, its color its clarity and mm -hmm. whatnot now this is just natural beauty there has been no no heat enhancements to make it richer redder 
So it's hard to find pieces like this. I'm looking closely at this. It almost looks like they are, those are not rose cuts. Those are old mine cuts. Yes, it is. Yes. It's a 19th century piece. And uh, we did have an exam. It's a Palma, no heat treated at all. So it's a natural out of it. So it's a beautiful piece. Absolutely stunning. Shelly Newhouse just tuned in and said beautiful pieces. Absolutely Thank you, beautiful Thank you. pieces. We have about 300 people tuning in right now looking at your booth. And it is just a wonderland of, uh, of gems and jewelry and uh, just high quality pieces. This color change sapphire, I'm a little bit curious about that. Uh, what kind of colors does it change to? They're changing to some of them. It depends on what percentage, but blue to purple mm -hmm. sometimes. Sometimes uh, blue to green, it, uh, sometimes a little bit brownish. So it's a nice color. You can see it depends on the, how much light you have. It's changing different colors. Absolutely stunning. We're just looking. Look at this. Let's turn to the side. I want I want the viewers to see the the mounting on the side over here. How many carats total is this piece? Um, just in diamonds, it's uh, let's see just the sides are each actually one one and a quarter carat each. So you got really large, beautiful stones around here. The sapphire itself is twenty four point oh one carats. Amazing. So if somebody was looking at this and said, wow, I would like to have a ring like that, but I'm just not quite there yet, but I'm gonna build up to it. What in your guys' opinion is a, is a good way to start in, in the antique and vintage uh, jewelry world? What's a, what's a good stone, a good wearable everyday stone that somebody could get that's uh, mildly affordable? Oh, One of your favorites. It's, uh, we got the old different kind of uh, budget around we have a uh, starting from something is thousand dollars up to over uh, maybe even two hundred thousand dollars range right and that's yeah. one thing that uh, it, I've noticed in your Ruby Lane store is that you guys do have something in every single price range something for everybody yes. which is which is uh, really important and a lot of fun we are just given another another peek in here look at that so again, this is Alpha and Omega. We are here live in their booth. They have some fabulous brooches down here. Look at this. Oh, and a little bit of retro. We love retro. Sometimes if we do too much talking, people say, let's talk more jewelry, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you too. Now, one more time, can you tell us where your store is in New York? And if somebody would like to contact you, uh, if they see something in this video, give us your phone number. Sure, let's see here. We're located at 66 West Futurama Exchange on 47th Street, booth 14. Uh, if you go on over Ruby Lane, uh, it's hashtag Alpha and Omega Manhattan. You can find our phone number, our contact information, and our email anytime. 212-221-1166. Perfect. And we also already linked to your Ruby Lane shop in this video. Thank you guys for all of your hard work, your beautiful pictures, and most of all, your absolutely stunning jewelry. There is something for everyone. Definitely, this is one of the best booths of the entire show, and we are very, very proud of you. We hope you guys have a great rest of your show. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye-bye.